Hello everyone. Today we will go over the principle of revenue recognition, including the conditions that must be met for revenue to be included in the financial statements. Revenue is a financial measure of the goods and services a company provides to customers during a financial reporting period. Revenue is said to be recognized when it is included in a company's income statement. Revenue significantly impacts financial statements. It is a major factor in a company's overall financial performance. Revenue recognition is an essential principle of financial reporting. This principle determines when companies should record revenue and include it in financial statements. The general principle is that revenue is recognized when it has been earned. This means that the company receiving revenue has done everything required in its agreement with a customer. It is also important to note that under accrual accounting, revenue is recognized regardless of whether the customer paid or not. However, revenue should be realizable. This means that the promise to pay has been received. The revenue is referred to be realizable when goods are sold or services are provided in exchange for an asset other than cash. Such asset must be readily convertible into cash or is exchangeable with other useful assets within a reasonable time period and without incurring any additional cost. The revenue recognition principle requires that revenue must be realized or realizable in order to be recognized. Note that the expenses related to the revenue have also been incurred or can be reasonably estimated. At this moment, the earning process is complete. Both the revenue and related expenses are recognized and included in the income statement. Because of this, the income statement is described as an application of the matching principle. It matches the revenues earned with the expenses needed to earn those revenues. Let's look at an example. The simplest revenue recognition case is when a customer enters a retail store, selects a product, pays for that product, and leaves the store with that product. The earning process is complete. The seller can recognize revenue for the product's price as it is both earned and realized. Even if the customer has a right to return the product, revenue is considered to have been earned and the revenue can be recognized. If returns can be accurately estimated, the seller records the number of estimated returns in a contra revenue account called sales returns and allowances. Revenue significantly affects a number of financial statement items. The cost of goods sold, which is reported on the income statement, is directly related to the revenue that is being recognized in the same income statement because the revenue drives the cost of goods sold that is recognized at the same time. Many other expenses, such as rent, wages, and utilities, are indirectly related to the revenue recognized in that income statement. In the balance sheet, cash and accounts receivable are directly related to the revenue that is recognized in the income statement for the same period. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please make sure to subscribe, hit the like button and ring the notification bell so you are notified when we release more videos like this. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you all again in the next video.